Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Shreyans Jain, pursuing my M.Tech from Banat University. Today I will be talking about a topic which I was working on for a while. Uh, that is abstractive. That is abstractive text summarizer. So in this video, I am going to uh, cover these parts: uh, introduction, some requirement for uh, approach that I am following, advantages, disadvantages, and the demonstration which I will be covering in the last, uh, in the end of this video. Uh, so why do we need summarizers? The answer is very simple because as time passing by a lot of text is da text data is generated Either in the form of documents or speech or any other form uh, through which we we generate text uh, And to understand this data we need to go through everything Which is time consuming so summarizers can help us to process and understand these data So before we go deep into the working of the summarizers first let's see what are text summarizers basically summarization is the process of shortening a text document with software in order to create a summary with the major points in the original document there are basically two major approaches to generate summaries one is extractive text summarizer the other one is abstractive text summarizer extractive text summarizer uh, are more focused in generating summary by using the words that are present in the document itself whereas Abstractive summarizers not only use the word from the text itself, but they also have the capability of generating new words which makes the summary more human-like. Since our focus, is, uh, focus of this project uh, is abstractive text summarizer, uh, we will be discussing more in detail about uh, this approach. Uh, I am using deep learning, a deep learning model to uh, train my, uh, to train, to generate summaries. I am using recurrent neural uh, networks with attention mechanism uh, the extension of the attention mechanism which was used in machine translation in 2015 uh, next is prerequisite the code is compatible with python 3.5 and above versions of python uh, we need numpy pandas nltk tensorflow uh, and pyrog for this code uh, NumPy and Pandas are uh, basically used for uh, data handling. Uh, NLTK is used uh, here for just uh, processing the data. Uh, specifically, TensorFlow version 1.1 uh, is used here uh, as the model was designed in uh, TensorFlow wor uh, version 1.1. Uh, for Rogue Score Evolution, uh, I am using PyROG library. The next part is data set. Uh, here, uh, Amazon Fine Food Review data set uh, uh, is the data set that I am using with, with the model. Uh, the other data sets that uh, DUC, CNN, Daily Mail, and Giga Words uh, can also be used uh, uh, for training training the model for text summarizers. Giga Word data set is, uh, is to be considered as the best uh, data set for uh, training the model. Uh, but the mo the the data set is uh, uh, is a licensed one, so you so you have to pay for it. The other commonly used data sets, uh, freely used data sets are Daily Mail, uh, C CNN Daily Mail data set. Now we'll be going through the uh, approach that I have used here. Uh, so as I told that I am using the Amazon Fine Food Review data set. So the data set itself contains uh, 5, lakh in, 5 lakh data points and 10 columns. So it need to be uh, cleaned. Uh, so in pre-processing I will be cleaning all the, uh, I will be removing all the uh, tables, uh, columns which are not required. And uh, I will be converting uh, all the uppercase letters to the lowercase ones. Uh, and uh, I will remove all the stop words using the NLTK uh, popular uh, the thing that we downloaded in the pre, uh, pre, in the prerequisite i will be showing you the uh, actual data and the uh, process data uh, once we are done with the uh, slides uh, then i'll be tokenizing all the words which are uh, words in all the text and the summaries uh, then i'll here i am using concept net uh, number batch word to vec uh, for word embedding uh, so if you guys do, uh, don't know what is word embedding and word to vec uh, please go through my uh, the other series 
uh, which which has the Jensen tutorial which which covers all the uh, basics uh, about word embedding and the word to ec uh, then using those uh, uh, word embeddings i'll be creating vectors of the uh, text that i am uh, giving to the uh, giving to the model uh, then uh, des designing lstm bidirectional encoder decoders layers with attention mechanism here i am uh, designing a bidirectional encoder uh, so the reason here to cho for choosing the bidirectional encoder is uh, because um, it uh, it helps us to uh, understand the uh, future data and the past data uh, both uh, and since uh, for for one for one output uh, so basically we are considering the future and the past for for generating one uh, one result and the decoder layer uh, has the attention mechanism uh, which i mentioned in the starting that i am using the attention mechanism that was used uh, for uh, machine translation in 2015 uh, it is the it is very basic uh, attention mechanism that's why i am using this attention mechanism uh, once the encoder and decoders are designed i'll be uh, so i have after designing i i have trained my model uh, for approx uh, for approx 20 to 25 epochs uh, it it converged at 20 epochs actually uh, and then i am uh, testing the uh, model by either by either by taking the input from the from the data itself uh, from the data set itself or by uh, by the user even even i can uh, input a text and i can verify whether it is generating a, a response summary or not um, so advantages and disadvantages so let's see the advantages first um, it generates more human like summaries uh, so for higher accuracy uh, we need a large large and variant uh, variant data the average average rogue score that i am getting is 0 0.33 uh, so it is varying in between 30 and 35 so like even that is approx 33 i am getting uh, so disadvantages uh, the 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 model is very complex to design and uh, compared to the extractive summarizers uh, plus repetition of words and phrases are like it's it's prominent it's there uh, to remove it uh, i need to uh, think of i need to implement more uh, other concepts to to remove it or to i need to fine tune the model to remove those things uh, the summary the, the generation of summary is taking approximately 25 to 30 seconds uh, so uh, let's move on to the demonstration uh, so this is my uh, code uh, for the text summarizer uh, as you can see i have i have imported numpy and pandas for the uh, for the for handling the data uh, and my version is uh, for tensorflow is 1.1 1 .1. uh, so this is my data actual data these are the text i have brought several of uh, something something and then summaries uh, for all these things plus i have id product user id uh, profile name and all the other column names that are there uh, i am cleaning it, i am dropping them or the the columns that that are not required i'm i'm dropping them and uh, I am also removing the uh, null values, null summary values, uh, so that I get only the values which are uh, which which have both text and summaries. It's uh, summaries. So these are the short words that I am converting into their long forms. So couldn't, could not, didn't, did not. That kind of conversion I'll be uh, uh, I am doing. Uh, and this is the processed uh, data uh, so brought several variety uh, canned dog food product found good quality product looks like uh, stew processed meat smells better so uh, i have only removed these stop words from the text i have not removed these stop words from the summaries because uh, so, uh, if i remove the uh, stop words from summaries as well uh, the summaries won't make sense uh, to to keep them natural. I have not removed it. Um, 
then as i told i am using the concept batch uh, concept net number batch uh, uh, word embedding so uh, here where I, here i am uh, loading the pre trained uh, number batch and then i am uh, generating the va uh, vectors this is all the cleaning part and the other processing that i have done here i have sorted the data uh, sorted the text and summaries uh, from shorter to the uh, longer ones uh, like sh sh sorted on the basis of their uh, length uh, so this is our model building uh, part uh, so in decoding layer uh, you can see the attention layer that we have used is attention mechanism that we have used is uh, uh, uses this one um, then i have like uh, the epochs that i kept was 50 and uh, as i told earlier that it it converged at 20 epochs uh, my board my model has uh, three layers uh, and um, so th this was the uh, part where it was getting trained uh, here uh, you can see the training part it started from two point the law started from uh, from seven and it went down to uh, it's going one two one two initially then it went down to zero point something something So yeah, it, it went down to 0 0.92, 0 0.01. So it was it was going uh, very low. So average loss for uh, was 1.02. Uh, so the training stopped. Uh, this is the graph of my loss, uh, how it converged. And I guess I should have kept the learning rate a little more uh, smaller so that it could have been a better better graph maybe uh, so here i can test my uh, here i can test my data so i am giving a custom uh, custom qu uh, custom query the packaging and everything was intact but uh, the yeast i got uh, got expired on 12 12 16 not sure if it is still good so uh, the generated query is not that awesome here but still it's generating something uh, expired yeast very good and it's some some repetitions are there so let's run it again with uh, with the with the with the uh, data set itself Uh, so I'll run the uh, sec cell again. Uh, let's see uh, what we get. Uh, it takes a little time to load the uh, model uh, because the and the more actually the model was trained on a high configuration computer which has a, a a GPU which helped me to train train it much faster. Uh, the uh, the rec the video that I am recording is on a low configuration uh, laptop, so it takes a little time to uh, load the data, load the model, uh, and once the model is loaded, it uh, generates the summary. So let's wait for the summary. So yeah, it has generated the uh, summary for us. Uh, the original summary was I love cashew butter, and uh, the the text is talking about something that it arrived early and uh, the product taste was very good the the only thing was the smell was fish kind of fish food and uh, yeah so the the generated summary is taste like i expected so i think so it's a good good result and the uh, precision the rogue score that that uh, that is like for this uh, summary is 0 0.32 um so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching this was my project and uh, for any other help you can uh, you can post a comment on the video uh, you can like the video and subscribe to my channel for uh, uh, more 
video such like uh, uh, similar like these uh, so thank you guys